All right, so here he is, the undefeated middleweight contender, Paolo Costa. Most would argue this is the scariest power puncher in the 185-pound division at present. And I think for those that would doubt him, he answered a lot of those naysayers in the Yoel Romero fight, outlasting that freak of a man over 15 powerful minutes back in 2019. Paolo Costa appears destined for future greatness, but obviously a big test in front of him here tonight, one he is hoping to pass with flying colors. So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run roughshod through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge to date. Our tale of the date for this middleweight championship fight. Three years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Paolo the Eraser Costa. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Hamzat Bors Chibaya. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Goodbye for coming. Success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Ooh, that knee, big that knee. knee hurt him. Oh! Holy smoke! Effective utilization of the ground and pound here by Costa. Lands a big right hand early. These guys throwing early. the Muay Thai plum. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? 
Look at that great work to the body to the clinch. Oh, nice connection there. With oh, he's in trouble. Whoa! He's hurt oh, bad. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Under three minutes now to go in round one. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Austin's just got full mount now. Lands the ground and pound strike. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh yeah, he's landing very accurately and he's landing to get damage off. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Gets up again here, but Hurton kick right under that right elbow. And now he lands a combination. Trying to stay in this fight. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. But he looks hooked. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. Wow. Oh, he's got to take that back. Oh, and he's back to his feet. Good side for him there. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. This is the one that's gonna break him. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. Oh. Round two here. Big ball to Rush Land. Now he gets back to range. Beautiful diving strike lands. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. the takedown no problem so he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on oh wee what a right hand by this oh. man what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment he deserves to Just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official Andy decision. Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, six seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout.